Michael? Uh, yeah. You're 14? Yep. What's up? Uh, you know how you were talking about how you yell at people for only putting ketchup on their hot dogs? Mm-hmm. I only put ketchup on my hot dogs, and so that's that. right. You're just a kind of troublemaker. Oh, I but he's 14. About. He's 14. Yeah. Well, you got a window here, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Well, I hate I hate a mustard and relish and stuff. Nice. Right, so you might you might as well just put a dunce camp on. Yeah. Well, uh, also uh, he's just advertised. You get a windbreaker. It says I'm a moron. Yeah. Well, Tara, not don't call me Tara. Said that she also puts only ketchup on him. Yeah. Well, that's my point. <laughs> Shocking. Not surprised at that. Tara, don't call me Tara. How, how can, Shocking. Yeah. How can you like relish? I mean, it tastes like crap. Eh, here's what a hot dog should have on it. Hot dogs should have a mustard. Nice brown mustard. Well, that's li- nice. Yeah, hot mustard. And then yeah. and a, a little bit of relish. And I like onions, so the Drew's intestines cannot tolerate onions. So I give them a pass on that. Mm. But just ketchup. That's what kids eat. Do I have to explain the yummy phase? What, what's the yummy phase? All right. Let me explain something. We're all born into the yummy phase. I've not given this speech in a while, but it's been uh, it's been weighing on my mind. Every that's what, kids love ketchup. They love hot dogs. They love hamburgers. They love French fries. They love grape soda. Mm. They love chocolate. And, they they, and, they, and they fatty love, stuff love chocolate and milk and yeah. stuff. French every fries. kid, every human being is born into the yummy phase. Yeah, the more the higher, the more dense the calorie, the dense the fat. The, the novelty Dense food. The carbohydrate, yeah. All that stuff, cotton those candy. pixie sticks and yeah. cotton Ooh. candy and, and those snow cones with the rainbow coloring. This is the non-food food. That's what you're born into. And as you get older, you start to leave the yummy phase. And this is where things like brandy and beer and cigars and caviar and uh, a woman's crotch, the, all this stuff you begin to acquire a taste for this. You don't normally like it your first time around. I mean, you take a puff off a cigar, you take a shot of good whiskey, you take a sip of good beer, you don't like it the first time. And you give a nine-year-old a shot of whiskey, you'll spit it right back in your face. But you grow out of it. Now then, a certain percentage of society never leaves the yummy phase. You become like uh, Kevin and Bean from the uh, K-Rock Morning Show. You drink hot chocolate, you drink grape soda. You don't like beer. Well, you ask a guy who's older, why don't you like beer? And they go, it's bitter. It sound like a kid. Uh. You ask him, what about mustard? What about uh, certain, uh, certain things that, uh, like I said, have an acquired taste to them? No, they don't like it. And they have a very limited diet. And if you hang out with these guys, you go out to breakfast with them, they eat pancakes and French toast every time, covered with syrup. Mm-hmm. Covered. Their beverage, when you go out at night, is always like an orange soda or root beer or something. It's never beer. When you go out and eat dinner with them at night, they won't even have a nice piece of, like, blackened catfish or something. They get spaghetti and meatballs yeah. everywhere they go. They can be, they're trapped in the yummy phase, and they pass their whole life through this way. Ooh, they're female partners. They'll, and you you won't see guys like this usually. You won't see them smoking. Yeah. You won't see them doing things that kids won't do. Right. And they don't drink coffee in the morning. They don't like it. It's like what? It, here's how you know what would a kid do? Does it? Does a seven year old like a cigarette? Does a seven year old drink a cup of black coffee? Does a seven year old like a nice piece of uh, uh, sushi? No, they don't like sushi. It's raw fish. It's gross. That's the yummy phase. Some adults never, never, never phase out of it. Mm. I mm. weep for those adults and the adults who have to go to eat with them because it drives about, me say, about, drives me insane about, when they're about, trying to order high C at dinner time. How about their female partners? Oh, yeah, I mean, they get no oral. Interesting. Not even close. I mean, no, no. Very good point. Yes, yes. It's the partners of the boys in the yummy phase. That's right. All right, let's take ourselves a little break. Drew likes the mustard, and he likes the poontang, right? All right, we'll be back. It's a direct relationship there, yeah, yeah.